What's the future of the oil and gas industry? It all started on the day when Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky agreed to be part of the Western Defensing Alliance NATO. What does NATO mean? This treaty could help UK and gain international military support by allowing NATO military activity within Ukraine and alongside Ukrainian military personnel. The US has supremacy in the NATO alliance and if Ukraine joins, then the US may be able to establish a military base camp on the Russia-Ukraine border. America is at our doorstep with missiles. How will America feel if missiles are deployed at Canada or Mexico's border? Putin had asked in December 2021. If Ukraine becomes a NATO member, Russia will be circled, which is unacceptable for Putin. Putin, of course, wants his country to remain secure. Russia wants NATO's expansion in East Europe to be halted. Putin wants a guarantee from NATO that they would not admit Ukraine to the alliance. How do oil and gas affect the world? Approximately 40% of the Europe natural gas comes from Russian pipelines, about a quarter of that passing through Ukraine. Russia provides about half of Germany's natural gas. At that start of the war, Germany halted its involvement in Nord Stream 2, a 760-mile gas pipeline between Russia and Germany's coast that runs beneath the Baltic Sea. The EU has declared ambitions to cut Russia gas used to buy two-thirds of the 2030, making Euro fossil fuel independent. In addition, the United States and its allies slapped economic restrictions on Russia's financial institutions and allies. The world feared that the war would lead to a ban on Russian oil in the West. Even before the United States and the United Kingdom imposed sanctions on Russian oil and gas supplies, some countries had ceased purchases, while others went into panic buying mode. On March 7, oil prices hit a 14-year high of $1.140 per barrel. They've dipped since then, but just somewhat. Russia is world's third largest oil producer, behind the US and Saudi Arabia. It supplies 14% of global crude oil production, or 7 to 8 million barrels per day, can you imagine, to the markets worldwide. The US and UK embargoes and some other pro-Ukraine countries' refusal to buy Russian petroleum have exacerbated the crisis. There was already a scarcity of good. How does it affect India? India is the world's third largest oil consumer behind the United States and China at 5.5 million barrels per day. The country's oil demand is increasing at 4% each year. According to this projection, India might consume roughly 7 million barrels per day in a ticket. India imports around 85% of its oil from about 40 countries, most of which come from the Middle East and the United States. India imports 2% of its supplies from Russia, including oil, which it refines, and converts to petroleum products. So, rather than Russian oil, India is originally generally concerned about rising oil prices. India's fuel prices have risen 14 times in the last two weeks, with raises practically every day since March 23rd, following four months without an increase. Rising fuel costs were blamed on the impact of the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Oil bonds issued by then the Congress-led United Progressive Alliance (UPA) government and state taxation, according to the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. Prospects of oil and gas industry investors, in particular, are optimistic about natural gas. 85% believe it will play a crucial role as a bridge fuel between traditional hydrocarbons and renewable energy sources in helping the world decarbonize and 70% want oil and gas businesses to pursue natural gas growth. These findings strongly signal increased support for continuing investment as part of longer-term capital allocation strategies for management teams seeking clarity on how natural gas fits into their portfolios. While the short-term mood is strong investors, longer-term feelings are divided due to a greater focus on environmental sustainability. According to nearly two-thirds of investors, peak oil demand will be reached by 2030. Only 30% believe that oil and gas companies will pay a large part in their portfolios over the next decade and almost 60% believe that their clients are pressuring them to sell their fossil fuel investments. Investors continue to demand clarification on the industry's emissions reduction efforts and a clean energy transition strategy. The pressure on the industry is set to increase. Now, just 39% of respondents consider climate risk in their assessment of oil and gas businesses. But another 40% say that they plan to do so in the future. Given the mounting pressure, investors believe companies should take the following steps. Set and achieve emission reduction goals. 
To improve their long-term value propositions, they should invest in clean energy, collaborate with stakeholders outside the oil and gas business to develop cross-industry standards for emission targets. There is less unanimity on the types of standards that should be set. However, more than half of those polled desire net zero targets for scope 1 and scope 2 emissions, which represent a company's internal activities and the energy it needs to run through those operations respectively. Scope 3 emissions, which include the upstream and downstream value chain, should be addressed according to 59% of the respondents. Across the board, 80% of investors want to know what companies are doing to prepare for the energy shift. The majority agree that all Oil and gas corporations have taken some preliminary initiatives to enhance their environment performance. Those measures, while commendable, will not suffice. Investors also want to see the results, such as meeting emissions reduction targets and increasing EBITDA from low carbon firms over the next three years. Investors are more likely to see the value propositions in accessible electricity sector areas like renewable power, generation and battery storage among specific types of low carbon efforts. On the other hand, emerging technologies are considered significantly less certain in value creation such as carbon capture, improved mobility solutions such as car sharing and rapid charging stations and hydrogen production. As a result, oil and gas companies that increase their investment in these areas may need to communicate more directly with outside investors about the business case for doing so and how their technologies fit into broader portfolios. As the oil and gas sector strive to expand into renewable energy, employees in the oil and gas sectors are concerned about their job security. Fossil fuels are depleting day by day and organizations have hired people based on their expertise in oil and gas. As a result, if the sector moves into the renewable sources, businesses, the employees of oil and gas companies may not have the necessary experience and may lose their jobs as well. Not to worry, there is a way. Data science and AI can help you to pave your career path. Data science is being implemented in various industries. An individual with notable working experience will be a plus point. A data science course allows you to learn with your domain knowledge which helps you to increase your expertise in your chosen domain. Application of data science and energy to control power, outrages, figure out peak times and set energy pricing. Utility firms can use data analytics to discover energy usage and savings. Clean energy firms can use data to monitor and regulate smart grids. Machine learning algorithms can also be used to anticipate the weather and improve the efficiency of renewable energy sources like wind and solar. As a result of the rising energy demand, the energy sector is developing new methods for optimizing electricity usage and identifying potential electricity energy generation alternatives with big data analytics playing a key role in this process. What is the responsibility of a data scientist in the energy domain? Improving theft detection and smart grid security with the rising need for energy, it's no surprise that some people and even corporations may resort to illegal means of obtaining power. Energy corporations are now employing data analytics to combat energy theft. Many businesses utilize advanced metering infrastructures to record energy usage, allowing them to monitor energy flows and spot irregularities. Energy providers can detect individuals attempting to steal from energy grids and take required precautions by monitoring the user behavior and comparing it to previous energy theft cases. Balancing Supply and Demand One of the cornerstones of good energy management is balancing supply and demand. When it comes to energy, both high and low demand can cause a slew of problems including higher costs for both consumers and utilities. As a result, energy firms require an effective demand response strategy to achieve the ideal balance of supply and demand and data analytics tools can assist in this process. Improving outage prediction, many businesses have to deal with power disruptions regularly. Although power outrages have been less prevalent in recent years, they still can occur due to unforeseeable reasons, leaving thousands of people without electricity and halting business operations. Energy businesses can use these technologies to learn more about the impact of weather on power systems and potential disruptions in specific areas. Improving customer experience, customers want and expectations are a top priority for every energy provider. 
energy suppliers can obtain significant information about their customers' behavior and energy usage habits, which can be subsequently be utilized to discover relevant links between power supply and consumer demand and tailor services and recommendations. Modern data science has changed the energy sector forever. While data analytics have always been present in the energy business, energy companies have progressed well beyond static models and algorithms. The data science applications for the energy sector are nearly limitless thanks to innovative real-time data analytics system. If you are interested in pursuing a career in data science, then LearnBay can aid you in paving the way for career excellence. LearnBay provides you with the finest and most curated data science course with domain specializations of your interest. Also, you can avail yourself live interactive classes led by industrial experts, subscription plan for 3 years, class recordings and learning modules for a lifetime one-on-one -on -one doubt clearing sessions, one-on-one -on -one free career counseling sessions, guaranteed interview calls from leading MNCs and fintech startups. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and comment on the topic you like to see on our channels. Subscribe to our LearnBay channel and press that bell icon.